let's say we have material 1 in contact with material 2. Now with no applied electric field and no gradient in the carrier concentration, we can say that at equilibrium there is no current flow from material 1 to material 2. And we have recently seen that if there is a gradient in Fermi level, there should be some current associated with. So here there is no current. What does that imply? It implies that at equilibrium and when there is no current flow from material 1 to material 2, there cannot be any gradient in equilibrium Fermi level. Now let's discuss it in detail. Let's say we have material 1 here. So this is our material 1. So let's say this is our material 1 and here is the energy band diagram of material 1. So here let's say this is the conduction band of material 1. This is the Fermi level in material 1 and this is the valence band edge in material 1. Now let's consider the material 2. So here we have the material 2 and let's say this is the associated energy band diagram of material 2. So we have material 2 and this is our conduction band edge 2. This is our Fermi level in material 2 and the valence band edge in material 2. Now we want to see what happens when these two materials come in contact with each other. Let's do that. We said that there should not be any gradient in the Fermi level because a gradient in Fermi level means a current from material 1 to 2 or from 2 to 1. So once it have reached the equilibrium, we can say that there is no gradient in the Fermi level. That is at equilibrium. So the Fermi levels should align. So this is how it is going to be. So we have no gradient in the Fermi level. That is DEF by DX. That is the space gradient. So we are considering from material 1 to material 2. We have DEF by DX equal to 0. That is at equilibrium. So this is an important relationship. The actual derivation of it is really trivial, really simple. It is made under the assumption that there is no current from material 1 to material 2 and from material 2 to material 1. We won't be doing it right now, but, but this relationship is really important at equilibrium. Now you might have already noticed that I have kept these two lines here floating. I haven't talked about what happens to these two ends here and here also we have two ends. How these two lines meet and the slope depends upon a lot more and it depends upon the material M1 and M2. It's kind of doping the number of charge carriers and we will discuss it in a later video. For now, all you need to remember is at equilibrium, there is no gradient in Fermi level when we move, for, move across from material 1 to material 2. We will discuss about these two, how to connect and what is the slope, how they meet each other in later video as it occurs when we start our discussion on PN junctions. So for now, the only point you need to remember is at equilibrium, there is no gradient in Fermi level, equilibrium Fermi level.